If we could open up the sun, we'd see layers of dense hydrogen gas, hundreds of thousands of miles deep, and at its center, the core, the sun gives birth to light. Forged in one of the most violent reactions in the universe, nuclear fusion. The specific nuclear reaction that powers the sun is fusion, fusion of hydrogen into helium. You take two hydrogen atoms, you ram them together, and what's left over is a helium atom. It sounds simple enough, but it's not. It's actually hard to get two atoms to fuse. Uh, two protons have the same charge. They're both positively charged. They want to repel each other. Protons don't like to get close together. They have to come together with a huge amount of energy or velocity to get close enough to begin to fuse, and that's very, very rare. To force protons together takes immense amounts of heat and pressure generated by the invisible hand of gravity. The sun contains 99.8% of all the matter in the solar system. That's a lot of mass. All that mass pulls the sun together with unimaginable gravitational force. But with gravity crushing things down, things get close enough together and nuclear fusion happens. In this nuclear compactor, hydrogen atoms slam together 100 million quadrillion quadrillion times each second. Some of these collisions are so powerful that atoms fuse, releasing energy. When the protons come together, to bind together, they lose a little bit of mass, and that mass gets converted into energy. And every second of every day, about five million tons of stuff is being converted to energy. It's amazing. 